After I consider myself a storyteller. That's why I love my job right now so much because I get to tell these stories and um, there's stories about you know how people have changed their lives and they inspire they inspire me and I know they inspire other people. The interesting thing about this program for me was that it's really hands-on and so for me it was like constantly applying what I was learning. The, the faculty from the documentary department um, is it's just people that are involved in film, documentary filmmaking outside of the school. So it's people that are in, you know, have all this knowledge and apply it. My thesis film is called Lifeline. And this is a story that first broke the silence for gay teens and that 20 years later, it's still bringing hope and saving lives every day. So this, this film uh, also talks about how the Trevor Project was born. One of the founders of the Trevor Project is James Lassine. He's one of the faculty from the documentary department of the New York Film Academy, as well as an Academy Award writer. Um, for the film, we, we needed to make, raise money, so we did a campaign on Kickstarter, and we raised $10,000. We got to interview Daniel Radcliffe, and we got to interview Kelly Ripa. It was great, like, it was just so much support that we received. Right after I graduated, I came on board to, with a production company, um, called Riotous Pictures, and I became the editor for their feature documentary. So after editing Stratomatic, I was invited through the New York Film Academy, the documentary department, to win a grant to make a short film about sustainability. And I won the grant, and it was a really fascinating process because I was mentored by the Academy Award film director, Davis Guggenheim. After I finished my film about sustainability, I started working for the David Lynch Foundation as an editor. And I worked, when I was still in New York, I worked for them. And now I moved back to Mexico and I'm still working for them. What the David Lynch Foundation does is they teach transcendental meditation to war veterans, to women and children who have been forced to prostitution uh, in prisons. and. It's, it's an amazing work. I tell the stories of how th this transcendental meditation has changed people's lives in such hard um, environments and like all the traumas that people have gone through and how meditation has changed their lives. So that's my job now. I'm an editor for them and it's, I, love, I love my job. I really love it and it's just such a great thing that they do and I get to be a part of that.